Hey guys, Perry back here with a brand new episode of Collider Behind the Scenes. It's that time of year, that time where you just buy a whole ton of junk and celebrate Valentine's Day, and we got all of the lovely people at Collider Video who are planning big things to celebrate, I think, maybe. I don't know. Let's check out what they got planned. Does anybody want a, a stale Party City Heart? How do you feel about these things? Oh, I love these are the best. Pick a winner. Uh, these are the best things about that fake holiday. It says, well, mine's blank. <laughs> I got a blank one. Oh, no, it's a peace sign. It's half a peace sign. Peace it's sign. half a peace sign. Sweet stuff. Hello? <laughs> Hello? That's the best pickup line I've ever heard. <laughs> Sweet talk. Sweet talk. Careful. <laughs> Ooh, that's hard. Right. Oh god. That's stale, dude. You give me stale hard. I can't even bite it. Oh, I like these usually, and they're only 80 calories a box. It looks it's like a, it says I did I did you. X <laughs> X rated. That's right. I did you. Hearts. What are your Valentine's Day plans? Uh, You're supposed to have an answer really quickly at this point. Yeah. Hurry up. What is it? You better impress her. Come on. So what are you planning? I have no idea. <laughs> when is Valentine's Day? Come on. Come on. Um, I should probably come up with something between now and Tuesday. All of you guys, all of you guys that have a significant other in this office have not planned anything. What are you planning? Porn. Lots of porn. I could have guessed that. So what I'm planning on doing is figuring out at the last minute the best thing that my wife wants and making it seem like I spent months doing it. Go get wasted with your friends. Those are the best Valentine's Day. What she said. Alcohol, like, there's no reason to be sad on Valentine's Day. If you're in a relationship, definitely like think about like going out for a delicious dinner, maybe seeing a movie or some theatrical play, or perhaps a musical number, maybe a band. Hey, Rat, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Oh, yes, we're going to have a very special Valentine's romantic date. This is the hottest couple in the office right here. <laughs> Who's got the worst, worst date story? So my uh, college friend set me up with her cousin. And he's a very handsome guy. He seemed really cool, right? So it's, it wasn't a blind date. So we go and see a movie. And it was with her and her boyfriend, I mean, her cousin. So he gets in the movie theater. He goes, oh, I don't have any, I don't have any money. People have heard this story before. I went on a date one time with a girl who I took to see the Muppets and I didn't realize that she was much younger than me and never even heard of the Muppets and didn't understand why they made a movie about puppets. We never talked again. I had, a, I had a bad experience close to Valentine's Day over Christmas once I'd been dating this guy for like 100 years. It was going nowhere and everybody, it was just, you know, it was bad choices. And we were, we went to Sedona for Christmas and we got snowed in and I legit was like, oh my God, I'm stuck in this cabin with this guy. And I got to break up with him and I got to get out of this and like all these things. And I lit like legitimately had a panic attack and we just like drank the whole time because I was like, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And then we broke up. I picked him up. I paid for our movie tickets. Needless to say. And then like on top of that conversationally, like it just, I didn't care to talk to him at all. He wanted, I, mm -mm. The, the worst date experience or first date experience I've ever had is probably just sitting down for dinner with someone and them saying, I'm allergic to cats. I'm like, okay, well, yeah. this is not going to work. Gonna you work. can go home now. <laughs> right. Thanks for the drinks. So I had a date with a girl. We were on a hike, and she said that she hated E.T. Hated e. It's over. It was over from that moment. And I'm too bad we were at the top of the hill because I had to walk all the way back down with her. So I'm like, I don't understand how you can hate E.T. And then I met John Roca. And bloopers. At the Collider Video Studios here in Burbank, California. And we are so glad you decided to make this part of your day. <laughs> Superman screenwriter, time. Fuck it. All right. I'll try to not swear anymore. Just yeah. try to use big words. Um, what a fucking horrible piece of garbage. <laughs> but Mankiewicz's script remained the guide. Fuck it. For District 13. <laughs> no, this is in Hollywood, so And this is our weekly show where we talk about the week that was in TV and plus bring you all the news. I just did that backwards, but that's okay. Just keeping it fresh. <laughs> he was posthumously awarded the Best Supporting Actor Oscar for the following year. For the fucking year, that year. Fuck it. Can this, you juggle? I can. Oh, so, I knew that's where we were going. Yeah, I learned this. This was at Florida State. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nerve. I really... 
Haven't really picked it up too well. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah, there you go. Awesome right here. What is up with that? <laughs> Take this opportunity to fix that. Sinead, we're on a show. Uh, <laughs> posthumously awarded the best supporting actor, Oscar, the fucking scrim. Fuck, fuck it. You know what? I watched it again the other night, and I thought, you know what? I didn't realize first time I saw it. How good is it? Still bouncing. I love this. Smacking you in the head. <laughs> the what is not domestic? What's the word? What's the antithesis Foreign? of domestic? For yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> he was posthumously awarded the best supporting actor Oscar for the following. Why do I keep saying the following? Here to read the Twitter questions, Miss Wendy Lee. What do you got first, Wendy? Hey, everybody. Whoa. And in the Ooh. long storied, proud Hollywood tradition of whitewashing, I have taken over the lead <laughs> role of the Asian female. Which means my coffee is almost empty and that is a problem. I'm looking at the wrong camera. Hey, guys. I, 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 I don't have your number, so you weren't in the group text. Ooh. So it's, oh. I'm sorry. I That's an awkward way of you. asking wow. for it. I am the show. <laughs> Jeez. He was totally open to showing his penis, but I sell it because he's not going to show his penis. Like, Interesting. Uh, he's a very attractive black man. D David Griffin. <laughs> uh, talking about very attractive black men. <laughs> See what I did there, guys? I can't, I can't. Oh, right. I can't. Within the horror genre. Rock. Genre. Yeah. Within the it's a new word. Genre. It's a good word, yeah. too. Though THR sources. 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 and genres. <laughs> can I tell you Mark Ellis's worst date story? I can tell you that I could probably guess the girl's version of it. Um, to where it's probably something about, hey, would you like to go to sushi? No, let's go to Chili's. All of the crew guys, Adam and the other guy, <laughs> Cody. I want to thank everybody up here with me on the panel today. Uh, the questions of like, hey, I'm going to come to LA. We should hang out. Those are the questions that unsettle me. Who's when I get asking those. you that? <laughs> about okay. a few, How many? Where is the show you me on the Twitter. line of fans that <laughs> are waiting around the hey, corner I don't have for a line their of chance fans. to get to ride on a horse with the outlaw? <laughs> This is what I found out about Perry. Besides the fact that she's a Long Island girl that I could get along with, she's actually the easiest person in the world to make laugh. Like, wait, 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 straight, fa straight face. Come on. It's like, Kids, ah, if you, you don't know who the hell Fleetwood uh, Mac is, me. James Gunn is going to turn you on like, to the legacy. I mean, there's so, so many amazing songs. One of their most so famous good. albums turned 40 last week. Which one was that? <laughs> one, one of them. I don't know. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> Come on, man. You're halfway through this, right? Here you go. Hey, okay, straight face. Your, your life depends on it. We're going to go into the writer's room right now. Those guys are always busy working on crazy stuff for Awesome Tacular. I don't even know what they have in mind right now, but let's check it out. It is very loud in there. Guys. Rude of Vegas. Hey, hey. I could hear you from all the way out there. All right. What's next? What about you? Ah. All right. <laughs> the next thing. Perry, 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 Perry. Hold on, hold on. Run, run, it, run it through one more time, because I don't think you're understanding. No, I'm story. totally understanding it. Okay, this is, it's Ruth Nega, okay? She's an Oscar-nominated actress. Uh -huh. Ruth Nega's Rutabagas. Ruth Nega plus a Rutabaga equals money, money, money. Money. So, Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th. Yep. <laughs> Nope. That's what we're doing here. Let's take that again, and we're live. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We get Ruth Nega's Ruta Vegas. Then all of a sudden, Ruth Nega gets wind of it. We now own a Ruta Vega company. Okay, so we have to attach Ruth Nega. We yes. have to open up a business yes. for a side little stand that has Ruta Vegas. It's organic Ruta Vegas. <laughs> I'm gonna go to lunch. God, do I pitch David Arquette's croquettes? I'm gonna, I'm going to quit. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! This is the stupidest shit! What? I watch one spot at the top and then I just know where Never my hands are supposed to go. I don't know if I eat candy. This is what I have to deal with. I'm always- I gotta go. This is what I have to deal with, you guys. I pitch sketches all the time that are pure genius. Ruth Negus Rutabagas? It just sells itself! You gotta look cool in front of the kids. Of course you do. Maybe you you believe me, right, Frank? Frank, no! Frank, no! Frank, no! And that is all the time we have for behind the scenes this week, but we're coming back next week, and you guys know I read the comments, so please drop some thoughts in the comment section below. What do you want to see on the next behind the scenes show? I'll read them, we'll make them happen, but for now, this garbage needs to go in the garbage. You know, I didn't do that bad of a job. There's a couple on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>